huh? us girls that are on the internet, Instagram or OnlyFans or whatever the case might be, when we encounter niggas that say, for example, no, I want to meet you in person, we just automatically assume that you're broke as fuck and you can't give twenty dollars, you can't give a hundred dollars, you can't give a thousand, a five thousand, whatever the whatever the amount might be. We just automatically think that you're a broke ass nigga <laughs> or a stingy ass nigga. Yeah. So we even if we see you in person, we don't even we no longer want to fucking see you. It's like <laughs> ew, it's this fucking. Okay. Where they, they saying this? Uh, where they saying this in your no. DMs or what? I'm no. Like, what no. You automatically think that they're a broke like, well, for, for me and for my girls. Reason, why do you get that? Okay, Papa, you like me and you want to see me. All right. So when I got to see you, I got to get my nails done. I got to get my hair done. I got to get my makeup done. I got to find an outfit. I got to make. I got to take the time to get ready. We'll and you. I'm going to see you for fucking free. You can't send me no money. You can't be like, okay, baby, here, because I am used to that. I'm used to niggas, like the niggas that I have dated. They send it to you, though. They yes. send it to me, like, mommy, mommy, head. here. Right. Mommy, here. Get your nails done. Get your things done. Because... Caribbeans, at least me, Dominican, Puerto Rican, we are like that. We like to cater yeah. to our women. Here, baby, get pretty for me. Buy something for me. I want you to wear this color. I want you this. Yeah. When you don't do that, and you just be like, oh, uh, just pull up. I don't like to get money to <laughs> bitches. I don't know. When I see you in person, broke. Well, I don't want to no, no, Stingy. Urr, fuck you. Because I'm dating. I'm single. And I don't give a fuck if you're fat, if you're ugly, whatever. I fall in love with money. You give me money, I just love your puppy. You that. know, I like money. That's so, what so I like. That's what you say. YouTube, what do you do? It's your boy Steph, man. Now that clip we just watched, I want to break down that clip we just watched. Now, who's dealing with these kind of women? When we look at these videos and we we see these women and how they they break down, you know, the OnlyFans game and they break down how they're attracting men and the kind of men that they're fucking with. So I asked my is this question are are we doing that do we have to do that so when you got your shit together as a man there's there's you you have like different variables and options you feel what i'm saying where you don't have to go with the norm i have to go with the meta right in the video game you know what I'm saying? Where we, we we call the meta is is the the best way. You know what I'm saying? Or we we call the meta is like what everybody uses. You know what I'm saying? The meta is like it's like for Destiny 2. A couple a couple years ago, the meta was the last word. You know what I'm saying? The meta was the not forgotten hand cannon. Then they start making patches and shit, and different metas change. Same with NBA 2K. You know, 22 man. I'm a huge 2K player. You know what I'm saying? I'm a huge dribble head. I like dribbling. So the meta, before they patched the walk back, it was it was the walk back green. Now the meta, and now 2K23 coming out, but now the meta is three hunting. I'm a drag back, drag back, hurry up and get my quick stop green. Get that little pocket window and green you. That's the meta, right? So it's different, right? Like y'all got to understand like, When you're cold, you don't have to do what everyone else is doing or what the fuck she's talking about. The goofy shit that she's talking about and the goofy shit that she's demonstrating because I don't have to. Them other niggas gotta pay her and cash app her and get to know her through the money. Leading with their wallet, super beta male shit. She said, I gotta get my hair done. I gotta get my nails done. I gotta get my feet done just to come see you. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. I gotta do this. I gotta do that just to come see you. So, automatically, what I'm hearing from her, automatically, what I'm hearing from her is delusion, 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 as far as me fucking with her. Well, as far as any of my guys that follow the philosophies, fucking with her we're gonna look at her like super but the oh, maybe somebody else is gonna look at her as like oh maybe somebody else is gonna look at her like damn shit I, I like that let me baby let me spin on you a little bit which is some simp shit if you ask me because women want you to like read their minds some goofy shit like they think we professor xavier so they want you to like read their minds so they can figure it out so you can figure out if they like you or not like don't nobody has time for those games 
Don't nobody has time for those games. It's either you fucking with me or you're not. You see that she's showing signs of engagement or she's not. Whenever you're just showing signs of engagement, she don't really want to fuck with you like that, bro. It has to be some sort of filter system that you have with these hoes. But a nigga can't be picky and choosy if he ain't got his shit together. So it starts with you as the man in the mirror. You got to get your shit together so you ain't got to deal with this goofy shit. I ain't got to deal with that because I don't have to. Same with the, you know what I'm saying, the whole single mother rhetoric, right? There is nothing wrong with dating a single mother. Would I date a single mother? Date, 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 date. Yes. As far as, oh, you know, Steph, you know, look at the things more serious. I'm already going to tell her from the, from the beginning of the talking point, you know what I'm saying? I can't really, I can't, I can't really, I can't really, you know what I'm saying? Take you serious like that because I don't want to go through that emotional baggage or that emotional damage that the other baby father had to go through. And I'm not trying to go through what he went through. I'm not trying to be the cleanup man. Does that make sense? I'm not trying to pick up what he's lacking. Does that make sense? Because I don't have to. I could just go to another woman that doesn't have kids or who's not going to put me through that bullshit because I have options. That is the whole point of having an abundance mindset and having options. Oh, she's not going to do that? Okay, I'll go over here then. Because I'm going to tell y'all this right now. Based off of these videos that we watch and the video about the OnlyFans girl, bro. You know what I'm saying? If an OnlyFans girl came to me like that, I will dismiss her so fucking fast. Dash, and you know what I'm saying? Attract another one that I, I don't have to do all of that. If you want to get the best bang of your buck? You don't have to do all that. You don't. In fact, there's a woman out there that might even be younger that's not going to make you do all that extra goofy shit. You know, oh, having pain and showing, giving me the cash. I just to know he's serious. All that goofy shit. You don't have to go through that when you got your shit together. You can pick and choose the same way these hoes pick and choose because they got options. Because they have an abundance mindset. You can do the same thing, my nigga. You can do the exact same thing, bro. What happens is we feel as if, oh, this is the best that we can do. What happens is you get you you fall into that simp trap where the society and everybody around you is shaming you and shit. The society is literally shaming uh, men for one to get what younger want younger women. But whenever a woman wants to do something, whatever a woman does, you know what I'm saying? Nobody bats an eye about that. Nobody cares. Nobody says anything. Where's the equality in that? But we know it's we know the system is rigged. We know they be on that bullshit. But at the same time, but we know that we are in control of our life. Who we attract is our is us. It's on us. So I'm, am I saying, uh, Steph, don't fuck with the OnlyFans, girl. Bro, you can fuck with every bitch you want to fuck with. Just know what you fucking with. Just know that she's she gonna make you put. If a woman is gonna make you jump through hoops, is it really worth it? Well, you can get something better that's not making you go jump through hoops. I try to get a basketball analogy. Why would I try out for a basketball team, G? When I'm already, when, when other basketball teams see my value and I don't have to try out for their basketball team, they're automatically signing me on and giving me a starter position because they see my value. Sure, the other team might pay me more. But, but but it's not genuine. Right? And genuine burning desire has everything to do with your look and how that woman sees you and how sexually attracted she is to you. Nothing about your money. 
Nothing about your money. We can, be, you know what I'm saying? Like me spending money on you is not showing me that I'm serious. But that's that's how mature women think. Because they've been through the ringer. They've been through so many guys. So why would I? Is my why would I put myself at a 25 year old guy? Why would I put myself through that bullshit? Because I don't have to. I don't have to. I don't have to do that. I don't have to put myself through that kind of that 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 that, that baggage. I could just get me somebody else that's that's ready to fuck with me. You only fuck with the bitches that want to fuck with you, and the bitch that want to fuck with you is not gonna make you jump through hoops. It's so simple. I never forget, man. I played with this AAU team. You know, y'all know I love basketball. I played with this AAU team called. Uh, uh, North Cot Hoyas, you know what I'm saying? Like Georgetown Hoyas. We was called North Cot Hoyas. And um, and it was the A team and it was the B team. And I was a part of the B team. And um, the, 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 the A team was called Greg Jennings Select. You know what I'm saying? And y'all got to think about it. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So y'all know we only had, you know, the Bucks, the Brewers, and um, the Packers. We only had like three sports teams. And um, Greg Jennings, of course, y'all know he played with the Packers and shit. And um, I always went to try out for this team. I'm talking about, i never forget these shoes called the Blue Chips came out. I remember i never forget. I wore all blue to practice one day. I tried to, you know, impress the coaches and shit. Just, but, you know, I'm trying to talk to the coaches after practice. Some coaches adding me on Facebook and shit. If we talking and chopping it up. You know, I'm 13. I'm 12 years old. I'm 13, 12 years old. I mean, I'm coming to practice shooting with them and shit, but I ain't going to none of the tournaments with the A team. I'm playing with the B team. I'm playing with the hand-me-down team. And I don't even get playing time with the B team. But, what, what, Steph, what are you saying? What I'm saying is, nigga, I looked at like a fucking clown trying to put on blue, bodies, blue chips, bodies, knock your elite socks. Y'all know the NBA elite socks that's out now, nigga. We been having socks, nigga. We been had the sock game on lock, nigga. But nigga, we had tie-dye socks, all that cold shit. You feel what I'm saying? And and um, I was wearing blue socks to practice. I was wearing the blue chip shoes to practice. I wanted to, I wanted to be like them. And it turned out I was just a clown. I was trying to get their attention. I was just trying to convince and prove myself to them so hard that it it made me end up looking like a fucking clown. So I mean, you could be the clown if you want to be the clown. You could play for you could play for the circus. If that's what you want to do, my nigga. That's that. I'm not doing that goofy shit. Cause I don't have to. You don't have to do that. I didn't have to try out for that AAU team. I didn't know no better. I could have. I could. I could have went to go play for a different team like Sherman Park Elite. Shout out to my guy Zoe and his father. They brought me in. Got more playing time, became a part of better loving system. They generally wanted me to play. I played point guard. They generally wanted to see me get off. They generally pause. They genuinely wanted to see me score and, and, and do better. It's a difference. Genuine is different than a motherfucker that you gotta prove yourself to constantly. You gotta convince because she fucked up in the past. She gave her best years to a fucked up nigga. Or she, you know what I'm saying? So now she's holding that grudge against all men. And now she finna hold it against you too. And you finna play that goofy ass game. Okay. I'm just tell up you. You finna play that goofy ass game, nigga? Go ahead. Be my guest. You're not going to win anything, bro. You're not going to win anything, bro. So you take your talents elsewhere, motherfucker. What's so wrong with taking your talents elsewhere? What is wrong with going with the woman that genuinely wants to fuck with you? That's a crime? Or do you forever want to be a fucking clown? I'm going to convince my value to you. I'm going to prove myself. Come on with that goofy ass shit, man. You know that shit goofy as hell, man. So, you know. It's not a, you know, women women know the game. Women know who they want to fuck and who not. Women know who they going to get to, who they get their time and day to, and who they not going to get their time and day to. Women know who they going to friends on, who they not going to friends on. Women know who to play with and who not to play with. They know. 
do you know? Do you know the difference? Motherfuckers like female nature bad. How? Nigga, female nature save nigga lives. Nigga, do you know the trap is coming? Or are you dribbling with your motherfucking head down? Do you know it's two six foot eight niggas trying to come and trap you while you're trying to dribble on the right side of the court? Because they don't want you to get your shit off or they don't want you to dot the nigga in the corner. So now they got to come to... You, you can't see that because your eyes not up. You're not aware of that shit. Because you don't have the fucking... You don't have that aware. You don't understand the game, nigga. Only reason why she making all these rules is because the other nigga that she was with, he didn't have to do that goofy shit. Why deal with a woman like her when you could deal with a lot of other women that's not giving you the, all these criteria and all these motives that you have to put up just to get her fucking attention? Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. You know what? I'm going to use even a better example. I'm not even going to end the video right here, man. Let's look at Giannis, for example. Giannis was talking that bullshit, talking about he wanted to go join, you know, AD and them. He wanted to join AD and Brown and see if he could fit in over there and win with them. You know, of course it could work. Of course it could work. Of course, you know, the Lakers are a bigger market. It's a bigger team. But why would he go over there trying to prove himself that he's better than Brown or better than AD or try to fit within LeBron's system? When he could just stay back home in Milwaukee, where I'm from, play within his system, gather his role players around him so we can win that championship. Because, nigga, I'm the best. Yeah I, yeah, I could compete over there. Why would I do that? Because that's not my best option. That's not my best option. So, of course, I could or they could have the possibility to pay for your nails and your hair and all of this and all of that. But why the fuck would I compete and do that when I can go to a better option and I ain't got to do all that? And I'm getting better options, better cooperation. Why would I do it? And I don't have to compete. With other clowns. Zaire Wade. Prime example. I think he's just as good as Bronny. Why in the fuck did he go to Sierra Canada to join them niggas? Armani and all them other cold niggas. And they all play the same position. Why the fuck did he go over there and go play with them like a fucking idiot? Why not go to some weaker school or go to another school or go to another state and create my own team and have my own system and I can have my own role players around me that's going to complement my game. That's the fucking difference. When you already know I'm cold. Other teams already know Giannis cold. But you still want me to prove myself. Lakers want Giannis to prove himself. When he's already to prove. When you already know what time it is. When you see me, you know. You already know. It worked with them. You know you got to earn a dollar, baby. You know that. Not with the clowns, though. Clown. Ooh, new contract. I got to do it. I got to do it. Ooh, new. Russell Westbrook. Would you rather be Russell Westbrook on the Lakers? Or would you rather be Russell Westbrook from OKC? Shout out to my nigga Dewan, man. He the one that put me on game with this. With these, this analogy. Like, would you rather... Listen, think about it. Would you rather be Russell, Russell Westbrook that play with OKC or Russell Westbrook that play with the Lakers? Of course the Lakers are a bigger market. They a bigger city. It might be a better team for him. But he's not playing his game. 
He's a part of another system, nigga. They even want this nigga to sit on a bench. Okay, see, he was getting his shit off. He was doing whatever it is he could do. He was doing whatever it is he wanted to do, nigga. Come on, man. That's that. That's the video for the day, man. Let that. We we call that inverted hypergamy. I'm only going to fuck with the women who want to fuck with me. Only. I'm not. Hey, pass the ball. Pass the ball. Uh, I'm. I'm not doing any of that goofy shit. Because it's a woman handing me the ball off instead of trying to, ah, ah, she just handed it to me, like a handoff. Here you go. Here it is. Here you go. Here it is. You trying to gaslight? That's all the woman doing in the video. She she, she gaslighting. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she doing the gaslighting. But what's funny is, we do the gaslighting over here. We're better than you. We're smarter than you. You know that. You just mad that I'm just doing inverted hypergamy. I'm doing what you're doing, just the opposite, G. And you don't like that. They don't like when you play the same game that they play. They don't like when when y'all both playing the same game. Motherfucker don't like when, you know, they start hitting threes and they... You know how you play somebody on 2K and they start hitting threes, they, hee, they get all happy. Then you get a steal and then you hit a three. Then they voice just, mm. then you hit another three. Then they, mm, mm. then you hit another three and then, mm, mm, mm. and now they just. <laughs> Quiet as a bitch. Then you hit another three. 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 And you just keep hitting threes on them. You just keep greening on them. Just keep greening. Just keep greening. You not stop greening. You just keep greening. Just keep greening. You not stopping. Then that's when there's no more games. No more laughing. Now it's a problem. That's cool. You can run that gaslighting game on them clowns, those goofy ass niggas that play for the circus. You know the circus team, Team U.S. Circus, the motherfuckers. You can that that shit work over there. That shit not working over here. That shit ain't working over here, G. I'm, I, it's just not. It's just not gonna work over here. Not by us. We see that dumb ass shit from a mile away. It's like we got floor general on Hoff. You know, tier four, nigga. We see that dumb ass shit from a mile away. Don't forget to like this video, man. Comment, subscribe. Holla big at this boy. Peace.